Hi everyone, my name is Vivek and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you want to see my upcoming new tutorials, please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon. This is the 17th episode about JavaScript Basic. In the previous episode, we work on the ternary operators and today we'll work on the block scope. When we started working on the if statement, we work on the blocks of code. The block of code exists in between opening and closing parentheses. We can actually declare a variable within a block. And if we declare that variable using lit or const, it will be available only in that block. This is very important to understand because variables might seem to disappear otherwise. Let's take a look. So open the text editor, open the 17th folder, block scope using lit, open start and main.js, add if statement with true condition. Then add a variable called message2 and assign them to a string. We can say hello world. Now, this variable is only available within the scope. If we try to log anything outside the scope, we will see an error message. So, let's try to log message to outside the scope. To check the preview, open the browser, open developer tool, go to console and refresh the page. You should see error message saying message 2 is not defined. Now add another if statement with true condition. Add const keyword, variable message 3 and assign them to hello world. Let's try to log them outside the scope. And again, since message 3 is outside of the scope, we get an error message. First, let's try to comment the previous code. Refresh the page and we can see message 3 is not defined. Finally, let's add another if statement. But before that, let's comment the previous code. Add if statement with true condition. Add var keyword, misses, and assign them to hello world. Again, log them outside the scope. But this time, since we are using var keyword, we can still see hello world when you refresh the page. This is completely wrong. So it is always best practice to either use let or const keyword to avoid this kind of confusion. This is the end of the session. In the next session, we will work on for loop, while loop, and do while loop. Feel free to comment below if you have any question. Also, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel to get more videos in the future. If you want some hosting companies, you can check the link below. Thank you and see you soon.